Hello. Today I'd like to talk about native theories in second language acquisition. Where they claim that language acquisition is possible because of an innate biological endowment. But the question is, what is it? What is this innate biological endowment? And there are three answers to this question that actually divide linguists into the following camps. The first camp, called universal grammar, says that this innate endowment is language specific, which means that our brain is in effect equipped with some sort of device that is language specific that enables us to learn languages. The names uh, that are prominent in this camp are Noam Chomsky and Stephen Crash. Then camp two also tries to answer the question, what is this? innate biological endowment. And then they say that our brain uh, is not really equipped with any language acquisition device per se, but we learn languages through general cognitive notions or with the help of such uh, dependency, adjacency, precedence, and so forth. So we learn languages not because of some specific language acquisition device, just like in Camp 1, but through general cognitive notions, mechanisms. The names in this camp are O'Grady and Parker. And the third, third camp, in fact, combined the two and says that, that this innate biological endowment is uh, basically uh, uh, it, it includes uh, both the independent language faculty from Camp 1 and general cognitive notions from Camp 2. Well, let's, let's take a, a closer look at Camp 1. Okay, as I said, uh, the main name um, behind this um, first language acquisition uh, language device is Noam Chomsky. Uh, he claimed that our brain, again, is equipped with some device that en enables children to uh, learn languages so quickly and uniformly in about five years of their lives and solely based on, on the input. Uh, so what he's saying that the input is not enough. We need LAD plus the, the input to make sense out of what's coming and to develop um, our language. Chomsky says, why is the input insufficient? Well, he answers uh, with the answer, answer number one. He says, the input itself is deficient because in real life, we make lots of errors, we make fragments, slips, false starts, etc. He also says that the input is not sufficient because it does not normally include negative evidence, which means that the child is not told what is not possible in the language. And answer number three, Studies have shown that um, usually um, when we correct children, we, um, we attend to the true value of, the, of what they say instead of, or rather, and to the, their grammar. So, how does LED work? Again, Chomsky says that with the help of LED, the language acquisition device which is in our brain, we use the insufficient input, or the children use it, and they work out, they work out um, the internal rules of the language. They internalize whatever they hear, they work it out, and with time they produce the correct language. They do not imitate. As it used to be before, in the works of Skinner, for example, um, Children do not imitate, but they rather internalize rules uh, that, that, that come uh, from the, the input.
Well, despite the fact that um, Chomsky's universal grammar has been extremely popular and influential in, in the modern world, uh, there have been some criticisms of his uh, work. Um, some researchers pointed that um, it's not really true that uh, we learn the language within our first five years of, of, of living. In fact, some uh, difficult, complex grammatical uh, structures are learned much later. For example, English dative movement is mastered much later, specifically at a run of 16 years old of age. Um, Chomsky also says that some syntactic principles cannot be learned and thus they are innate. However, Parker, in, in, in the study on structure dependence in English, shows that that not necessarily may be the case. What Parker says is that Chomsky would say that we don't produce sentences like this with the incorrect uh, word order in the adjective clause because of the innate rules. Parker says it may not be necessarily the truth. He says that, in fact, the reason why we produce the correct sentences is because we may hear and learn that and remember that the inversion takes place only in the main clause and not in the relative clause. So just by knowing that and um, having a, a, a coming to terms with uh, with a conservative hypothesis that this is the case, then we would not commit uh, mistakes like this. Uh, okay. Um, in sum, Chomsky's uh, theory has been very, very influential um, in the modern world, and although criticized somewhat, it is st still very alive and have given uh, many researchers a lot of st stimuli and ideas for further research. Uh, the second name in the in the universal grammar camp is um, Stephen Krashen, who developed or, um, originally uh, what he called monitor theory. Well, Krashen said that there are two systems of learning language, and they are separate. They are independent. One is the acquired system or acquisition system, which is a subconscious system. We do not learn consciously the rules, we just acquire them as we go. And then there's the learning system, which is the conscious um, system that we learn through um, classroom activities, through books, and so forth. And the learning system is the one that monitors the acquisition system in real life um, uh, communi uh, communication. Um, Krashner went on to developing um, five different hypotheses based on his original monitor theory. The first one, the acquisition learning hypothesis, is basically a restatement of what I've just said. There are two systems, two separate systems, that um, allow us to learn uh, the language. One is acquired system, subconscious. The other one is learned system. That's the one that we consciously apply and uh, number two, the natural order hypothesis is uh, the hypothesis that says um, we uh, learn uh, the language in predictable order, which often is not, does not reflect the complexity of the language. Number three, the monitor hypothesis, as I mentioned before. Uh, this hypothesis says that, um, again, uh, learning system is the one that monitors the acquisition acquisition system um, during a real lifetime real time communication. And number four, the input hypothesis. 
This hypothesis claims that um, the perfect scenario, the perfect environment for somebody to learn um, the language is when the, the next level of difficulty is slightly beyond, slightly beyond the level of the learner. And that's the best environment for um, the language uh, acquisition and learning. Finally, the affective filter hypothesis. Uh, this um, hypothesis said that there are many different factors, uh, affective factors such as uh, mo motivation, uh, self-confidence, anxiety, and so forth, that can hinder or facilitate uh, language learning and acquisition. Um, just like in case with uh, Noam Chomsky, um, Krashen, uh, Krashen's theory was criticized and even to much more extent than um, Noam Chomsky's. And uh, probably the most severe criticism, criticism came from a cognitive psychologist, uh, McLaughlin, who said that in reality there is no way, there is no research or data showing that there are two uh, separate uh, systems through which we acquire language. Um, all the evidence that Krashen gave was anecdotal, subjective, and uh, introspective. Um, the second uh, criticism, for example, came uh, um, from researchers who said that um, in the uh, um, input hypothesis, they were saying uh, it's very difficult to pinpoint uh, what is the learner's current uh, knowledge of the language and what is slightly be, uh, beyond in order to establish the perfect scenario for um, language acquisition. Again, researchers said that uh, uh, Krashen used metaphors, but, but not um, solid uh, terms and, and data in his research. So, again, um, just like in, Chomsky, in Chomsky's work, um, um, Krashen's um, research and, and theories were very popular in, uh, in its day, and uh, although they are not as uh, popular today, they give research. Um, they give lots of uh, researchers um, um, uh, many new ideas and stimuli to further research in the second language acquisition. Thank you.